Cancer. Welcome to your reading. We're reading for the first week of November. Um, those of you that are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Um, don't usually date my videos only because time and energy is fluid. I always suggest take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you are here and you are cross-watching, welcome. Just remember this is a Cancer reading. People operate from positive and negative. So if this is, sounds familiar to your story, then maybe you are the Cancer in this video and your person is your sign. Um, yeah, with that said, I also will encourage you guys to listen to your moon and your rising. Two, three, four, five. All right, let's begin and see what's going on. Okay, some of you are dealing with a marriage or money on your home or wanting to get married or getting into a relationship leading to stability. Page of Cups, somebody giving you a message of emotions. Somebody's very defensive here. Leo, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, let me see what's going on here with you guys. Oh, it looks like there was somebody in the recent past that you've been dealing with where you were stressing and you had anxiety regarding uh, a relationship and it feels mostly relationship. I don't really see a lot of money. It can be work related. Anyway, so you had a lot of stress and anxiety, cancer, going sleepless nights, a lot of stress. And then you, you, you were prop, you were asking yourself or telling yourself, okay, I have a fork in the road. I need to make a decision. Do I move on with this person or move without? Then there was a crack in your foundation, a big fucking breakup or a big break. Somebody was left out in the cold. I'm suspecting it was you. Then this person started tiptoeing back into your life in and out, in and out, in and out. And very much could have been a, a fire sign. This could also be your energy cancer that you were in and out of this person's life, but it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could also be an Aquarius, could also be a Leo, but you started healing this situation with this relationship. You both did. And you both started going towards your true north, healing, uh, being optimistic and positive. Somebody here needed a lot of strength to stick up for themselves and open up. And when that happened, then came in the messages of emotion regarding this marriage, this relationship, this money in your home, and stability towards a relationship. Now, here's the situation for the first week of November. Yes, it is about a relationship. It is about a community. The higher phones here. The fool, Aries. Maybe somebody took a leap of faith. Hangman, Pisces. Somebody was stuck at Nine of Pentacles. Um, okay, sorry. My nose gets at you when spirit guides come in for you guys. Sorry about that. Somebody here was very independent and stuck for a hot minute. So you took a, so this was you. So you were like, all right, let me reevaluate here my independence, my money on my home, my own personal wealth, my own life, my own singlehood. And you felt stuck for a minute, really stuck. So then you said, okay, I'm going to take a leap of faith towards a relationship, community, or otherwise. We're going to clarify and we're going to see what this is. What's coming towards you, though, is when you did do this, you collected some burdens, some baggages. We're going to see what this is. I, I don't want to really get crazy into this, but that's how I see this. What you don't see coming is this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be another female that you're dealing with that's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it's somebody very brave. Hermit Virgo, in your advice, you need to take time out for yourself, Cancer, and you need to use your internal wise beacon because you are wise. And it's like you see her looking at that laptop. It's like her trying to get information, the right information. Uh, all the all the all the knowledge and wisdoms that she's collected throughout her whole life to help her illuminate her road, her guide. And that's what the universe is urging you to do. Take five minutes out to see what's best for you, Cancer. In your outcome, Eight of Swords, you're finally going to get out of your head. You're going to find a solution to one of your problems and you're, you're going to get yourself unstuck. All right, so let's go ahead and start clarifying what's going on here for you guys. Universe Angel Spirit Guides, what is this fool, Nine of Pentacles, the hang one? So some of you are debating between being single or, or moving forward towards this relationship. Let's see. What is this? The higher font of fool and the nine of pentacles. Eight 
Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, yeah, and the star again at the bottom of the deck. So you are thinking about working with this person and collaborating with them. Some of you, this could be work-related to where you're working really hard on your craft and you're working with a team, a community, a community board here, and you're taking a leap of faith and this person or this, this team helps you get unstuck from your situation um, because you are stuck right now. You can't do it. You can't fly solo on whatever this project is. Others of you, if this is relationship, it's re it's 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 the same concept. It is you collaborating with somebody. You could also, this could be somebody from your work, somebody you work with, and you could be afraid of getting involved with somebody at your job. But you take a leap of faith, and this is probably why you felt stuck, because you work with them. Um, So it's like iffy kind of thing. Um... Others of you, this is, again, just working towards this relationship and collaborating with them. You take a leap of faith. King of Cups is here, absolutely. And the Ace of Swords. You're, you're trying to heal yourself. In the same At the same token, you're also moving forward towards love. Let me see what this is. You, again, you could be, you do might work with this person. Sorry, this thing is like, I'm just going to deal with it. Okay, what is this Ten of Wands, please? King of Coins and Five of Pentacles. The world. Yeah, you're starting a new chapter in your life. The High Priestess. You, you, you're, you're moving on. You had a transformation in a relationship or a marriage with somebody or something. And you moved past it. You did. Moved on. And you started a new chapter in your life. So whatever these burdens are that you're picking up, it, it it's they're not yours. They're someone else's. Could be this king of um, coins. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. And this person was left out in the cold. So it's like you might have picked up a project here. What do I mean by project? If this is work, I, it literally means you picked up a project. <laughs> And this person is just kind of like dumped all the work on you. Others of you for love wise, th this is somebody that's coming with baggage. This, this new energy of you working or collaborating with this person in love. This Capricorn Virgo Taurus person, they're very earthly, but there's somebody that was left out in the cold because this is clarifying your burdens, your baggage. This person is a project. This person has baggage because at the bottom of the deck is the world new chapter high priestess using your intuition um you know this you know this but this person also represents stability for you or they want stability with you okay very interesting let's keep going what's this queen of wands what you don't see coming so this looks like you moved on from a fire sign and then like some earth sign. They don't, it just looks like two different energies. One from your past and one that's present. Yeah. You have a fire sign from your past coming in and be like, yo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Knight of Wands. This fire sign person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Chariot, your card, you and the fire passionate brave person comes in very defensive like really fast first of all they send you in messages of passion because they find you to be very stabilizing for them in their world but there was a little bit of radio silence from them something was going on with them in any event this person comes charging in and very defensive and this is what you don't see coming it's like what are you doing and where are you going cancer and it's like what you're you're like what I, I, I moved on. What do you mean? What, what am I doing? What, what was I supposed to wait for you? Was I supposed to hang out and see what you wanted to do? Didn't think so. This person comes in very, very defensive. Let me get one more for the Queen of Wands, please. Again, this could be somebody at work, too, that you're dealing with. Judgment call. Yeah. This is somebody from your past. Somebody you need to make a decision on. For sure. All right. 
let's go. Let's move on because th this is, but you will have, there was six of wands back there telling me you will um, have success over this person. So this king of coins with the five of pentacles and these burdens coming towards you, maybe this is your burdens laying it on this new person of what's going on with you. So, you know, as I said earlier, please, guys, vice versa. The, the hermit, what is the hermit? I feel like you're healing from your past. You cut something out. You cut someone out and you're healing from your past right now. Because um, look at this. You could have been dealing with an Aries also. And then you went from that to being single. You went Queen of Swords on the, his ass. You just took this sword and chop. And this is somebody from your past. And you started healing. And you came back into your energy. You came back to base. You came home. You became your water sign, emotionally intelligent, emotionally available, uh, emotionally vulnerable and allowing energies to come in to love you. So in your advice position, you have strength and hermit. So hermit is clarified by strength. You having the strength to know, to know all the shit that you've learned in your life, cancer, what is the right thing to do? And it's always to follow your heart. It's always knowing who's going to hurt you, who's not going to hurt you. That's why you guys are, emo why we say emotionally intelligent. Believe it or not, it's only you, Cancer, and Pisces and Scorpio who could do this. Other people come from a place of being cerebral and logical, like the air signs. Others come from being grounded and earthly, like the earth signs. And then there's the fire signs, which come from a place of passion who need to learn to understand this. You guys just see it so fucking clearly. That's why in your advice, it's telling you, yeah, take time out. Take the strength to take a time out to see what's right for you. So you can remain here, home, in your base, a, a water element, a water energy. Take that as it resonates, guys, because th they don't want me to push or urge any more out of that. Um, what is the Eight of Swords in the outcome in reverse? You getting yourself unstuck because you started with the Hermit and you're ending with being unstuck. Yeah, you're taking, it's, let me show you something really crazy right now. You started like this, being stuck and then taking a leap of faith. You're ending your outcome at the, that's how you start the week, this is how you end the week. You get yourself unstuck and you take a leap of faith. I think you turn your energy away from one person and you go towards another. The King of Swords in reverse. I feel like you take a leap of faith at, towards this person from your recent past, which could be the fire sign. Because at the bottom of the deck is the Fool and the Emperor. So you don't cut them out. Because earlier, what I just read to you, this flipped out and it flipped out upside down. So you don't slice and dice. So you get yourself unstuck and you take a leap of faith towards this person. How it ends, we don't know. This is just a weekly reading. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's see what's going on here. Because overall, it looks like you want stability. And you feel like you, you've been pushed out in the cold, maybe from having that kind of stability. And you lean on somebody, this new energy, because I do see an earth sign here. You lean heavily. And I don't know if you burden them or they burden you in regards to this situation. It's safe for you to love came out and you deserve love. Flirt. It is safe for you to love. Stay optimistic about your love life. The bottom of the deck. Let me see. Free yourself. So it looks like you move on from this person or whatever happens and you move towards someone else or or at least your fire sign person thinks that you've moved past them and then they freak out and, they, and what you don't see coming is they come back because they think you've moved on. Um, 
But I think you trust them and you go for it. Or you take a leap of faith towards them. Work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio, which is literally like in a week or two. A new romantic cycle begins new moon in Libra. What do you need to release? Any past negativity or an ex energy or whatever it is, you guys know. But it says a new romantic cycle is about to begin and you need to work through your fears, which I think you will be doing. Wow, this looks like so specific. Let me see what your angel answers have to say. For cancer, please. What do you have for cancer, please? Angel answers. Answer, please. First week of November. Interesting. Don't stop came out. Recovery. This is this means you're healing and you're recovering and peaceful resolution. So maybe you have a reconciliation or you have a peaceful resolution for those of you. Um, get more information. Yeah, and that's also what the hermit talks about. Getting, you know, time out to get more information. Maybe you need to get and you know, the 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 romance cards are saying go out with your friends. Your friends will maybe help you give you some kind of clarity. Look at the bottom of the deck is compromise. Very interesting, Cancer. All right. That's all I have for you guys. It was so specific. Um, please leave me your comments, likes, shares, and subscriptions, and I will see you on the next one, Cancer.